Hey, Mighty Friends, this is Nate with Mighty. Hey, I was watching a Tim Slade video this week and I felt kind of inspired because we've been hearing in our community a lot about people wanting to get started with the interactive HTML block, but maybe being a little intimidated on just jumping in and starting to use AI to create these interactives that they could put in Mighty. And so after watching that video, they went in and talked a lot about vibe coding and it was great and they were using Lovable and building some applications. But at the end and during the Q&A, there was just some questions about, hey, what if I just want to use a simple tool to be able to create an interactive to put directly into Rise or Storyline or different things like that? Um, and they talked about it a little bit, but they didn't really dive in and it made me realize like, man, there's a really simple way to do this. So I got inspired. I threw together a custom GPT um, and it's pretty cool. So it has all of the key instructions built right into it in order to be able to just jump in, ask it or tell it whatever type of interactive you wanna build and it knows all of the kind of specifications that it needs in order to build it specifically for Articulate Rise using the Mighty extension. So you can basically say, hey, I wanna create this type of interactive. It might ask you a few questions just to clarify some key things. You'll say, yep, that sounds good. It will create it and it'll put it on the canvas, all of the code so that you can see it, but you don't even need to do anything with that code. So you can actually just click preview and it will show you a preview of how that interactive will look and the prompt will move to the left and you'll be able to continue to just prompt engineer it. So you can say things like, hey, change the style, change this color, and it'll make changes in that preview window in the canvas for you. And when you're all done, it will ask you, hey, would you like me to generate a zip file? And you can just say, yes, please generate that zip file. And you can drag that directly right into Mighty, uh, the interactive HTML block, and it will work. So you don't gotta worry about zipping it up properly. You don't have to worry about any coding. It's just a really simple way to get started. So I thought I'd throw together this video and walk through doing that once. So going over here, this is the interactive HTML builder that I created. So this is a custom GPT that you can use to build interactives that should be created in a way that you get a zip file and it can go directly into Mighty and should work perfectly. So this is gonna make things so much easier. I've taken all of the kind of directions and instructions from that prompt guide. I've already built it into this GPT with some extra instructions to make it even easier. And then you can just use this and it should allow you to create any you know relatively basic interactive that you wanna build and you'll be able to get that zip file and put it directly into Mighty. So let's play a little bit. I have a few just kind of prompts that are available just as example prompts. So let's just pick one of those to get started. So draft a card flip knowledge check about fishing. Let's do it. So it's basically saying, got it, thanks. Here is the build plan for what I'm gonna do. Uh, learning objectives, let's make sure that that looks right interaction type, their flip cards, content outline example. So it's giving me some of the content, uh, some visual cues, accessibility, and then integration with Rise and Mighty. Yeah, this all looks really good. I think we're ready to go. Um, do you want this knowledge check to require flipping all cards before Rise marks it complete or is it just for practice? Yes, require them to all be flipped. Let's build. So now it's gonna go through and it's gonna do a little bit of thinking and I'm gonna pause for a second and we'll come back and we'll see what it created. All right, it generated the code for us. So you don't even really need to worry about this code too much, but you can see that it created one inline file, one index HTML file um, with everything you need, the CSS, the JavaScript, um, and all of the HTML all in one file. It also gives you just a little bit of a summary um, telling you what it did as well as some things that it could do for you, some optional tweaks. And then at the end, you'll notice it says, want me to generate a zip file or direct upload into Mighty. That's kind of funny. It can't directly upload into Mighty. So it's a little overconfident here, but it can give you the zip file, which you can drop into Mighty, which we'll do together here soon. All right, so let's see what it actually created. So you'll see this preview button right here. So now we're gonna go into preview mode. 
And you know, generally this looks pretty good. So phishing basics, card flip check, um, email says your account will be locked in one hour, check to keep access, safe or suspicious? Let's see what it does. Suspicious, urgent pressure is a classic phishing tactic. Can I flip back? I can, it shows one out of eight cards flipped. Uh, I can do another one, it's keeping track. This looks pretty good actually. Um, for a first stab. Now we could brand it. We could ask it to change any styles. Let's just have it make one update before we move forward. I don't see a way to restart after you get through all of them. So that might be kind of a nice, um, oh cool. It tells you when you finished all of them so you can move on. That's kind of a nice, um, but we're going to give it, we're going to ask it to create some restart functionality so that once we've done it, we can do it again if we want. So um, I'm going to go ahead and prompt that. Hey, can you add a restart option to this interactive so people can complete it multiple times? I find it's nice to say like why you're adding the, the restart option so it doesn't like interpret it differently. It, it probably wouldn't, but the, the better you explain things to it, the better job it's going to do making the edits without changing a bunch of other stuff. And to that point, you can even say, please don't change anything else. That way it's like, hey, I only want to restart. And I think that's a good prompt to give it. So let's see what it does. All right, guys, that was a bit crazy, to be honest. I uh, just wanted to add a restart button. And uh, I had to do quite a bit of back and forth because for some reason it didn't want to actually put the restart button back in here in the JavaScript that it updated wasn't like reloading into the canvas here. So it did some funny things and I had to ask it quite a few times like what was happening and then it kind of figured it out. And long story short, when you run into a problem like that, the key is just persistence. I just kept asking it like, hey, can you please tell me why the restart isn't showing in the canvas? And it's like, oh, I had an error for some reason this you know, JavaScript didn't get replaced here. Let me try again. And so I went through that process with it a few times and that happens. Um, but anyway, it did get the restart. So now we have the restart button in here. And I also noticed when it, uh, when it finally got it to work, it had changed the card style slightly um, and it had eliminated this nice little kind of like title um, box that it's sitting in here and some of the like boldness to the title. And so I asked it to fix that real quick um, as well. So it did go ahead and do that. So this was just my prompt on the left to get it fixed. And I think we're ready to test it again. So I see it's still counting the cards as I flip them. It's uh, giving me the, the results uh, on the back of the card. So that all looks like it's good. And if I finish, I still get a prompt and I should be able to restart. Boom, we have it. So a little bit of back and forth with it just to get it exactly how I want. But still, the cool thing here is I'm just prompting on the left here and it's updating inside of this preview um, window inside of the canvas. I can leave if I want to go look at the code here or I can go back to the preview so I can go back and forth there and, and you know change my views or whatnot. But I'm basically where I want it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and ask it now. Can you give me the zip? file now, please. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to generate that zip file that we are going to put into Articulate Rise. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, hold on a second. I have a bar in the way here. Um, all right. I'm going to create a new lesson that's just a test just for us to throw it in there. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create this lesson and I'm gonna add the interactive HTML, and now I should be able to just drop the zip file that it gives me directly in here, and it should work. So let's see if that happens. Looks like it's still thinking. It's moving a little slow on me here. Um, so that's all set. Here, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip forward to when this is generated for you. All right. So it generated that zip for me. Let's see if it works. I'm gonna go ahead and download it. I see it downloaded it. Um, I already had one must be titled that from playing with this earlier, but that's okay. 
So let's go ahead and I'm gonna drag this new file right into here. And boom, we're in. And now I can obviously make it full width, um, which looks kind of funny in this. I could adjust the styling more uh, to make it look better, but I think this demonstrates kind of what we're trying to do. It's here inside of Articulate Rise. It's ready to go. I can preview it if I would like. I can actually see it. And just like that, I used the custom GPT to create a basic interactive. It generated all of the files for me. It zipped it up for me. I literally just downloaded the zip file, dragged it over to the Mighty Interactive HTML block, and we've got a working interactive. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'd be happy to answer them. Or if there's other things you wanna see us show, we're uh, open to suggestions. So throw them out there and we'll create more videos. Thanks.